Так, ну комната-то вот она. Chinese coin, recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. Тут все очень просто с этой комнаты. There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Dante's Paradise. Raise your head and be reassured, for what comes up here from the mortal world must ripen in our rays. What is this disc? There are burnt papers in the chimney. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. <laughs> I recognize her love of riddles there. Плохо, что он их забрать не может, эти заметки. Saint Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. The door appears to be locked on the other side. I heard something fall to the ground. A metallic sound, like like a key falling to the floor. We'll see if it works. It's open. Здесь есть, здесь есть книга, которая лежит вот там, библия какая-то, и куча разных картин, какие-то предметы сейчас мы соберем. И вот дело в том, что на картинах всякие подсказки будут, пылью там написаны, еще чем-то, всякие цифры, числа, но это прям, я не знаю, для Вундеркиндов способ, единственный самый офигенный способ, который я использовал здесь первый раз, это просто перелистать все возможные варианты в той библии и он сам найдет заметки эти на страницах так что так и сделаем попробуем сейчас быстренько Amber Crystals A 
chest with the occult symbol representing air. Testament. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, Let's see tomorrow evening, in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted, he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left, in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Thou hast put all things under his feet, for in that he put all in subjection under him. He left nothing that is not put under him. Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, Think on these things. Whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who think only of earthly things. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds, and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, Ye all are partakers of my grace. Do all things without murmurings and disputes. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. This I say therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Honor thy father and thy mother, as this is the first commandment. In him God has chosen us before the foundation of the world, that we may be holy and blameless before him. And he became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here, a message from Mother in reply to E. We must leave urgently, but first I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare. Watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. A lay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. 
What did mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. What does she... Получилось так, что в этой Библии вроде как около пяти посланий, и они друг за другом. То ли первое я сразу нашел, то ли какое-то по счету, но когда находишь вот это последнее, сразу засчитывается звание вот этой пытливы, и типа все разрешилось, то есть остальное не обязательно искать. В общем, я как начинал, слева направо, получается по часовой стрелке вот эти все перечитывать. Вот, в принципе, самый простой и быстрый способ. Ну посмотрим, что там пытливый, что дает. А, это же звание. Черты, точнее, вот. Оккультизм плюс один. Вы нашли спрятанные в Библии послания. Ну и что, все отлично. Mean by that. Clearly she must be trying to do something useful, but the what? The nightmare. Does that remind me of anything? It must surely speak of a place. Granting that this is the case, where might it be found? Yes, it's the painting that was behind Mortimer's study. Well, let's see if Mortimer has anything to hide behind his painting. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. А, ну вот, вот эту переписку матушки ее сообщника. Это как раз нужно было все записки найти. Time I went back and joined everyone in the small salon. You aren't expected in the small salon, sir. Emily, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? About last night, I'm guessing. I... sadly, no. Even if I'd like to have, I... Alas, there are more pressing matters. I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I've started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? 
Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. It must have been Emma I saw in my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. If mother's really killed her sister, I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Пёс с ней. Зачем ей это знать? В третьем эпизоде я видел две сестры. Зачем рассказывать о видении, которое неправильное было, скорее всего? Better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, Louis. They're waiting for us. You will pay dearly, Peru. I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice. Don't travel through France on your way back. Or it'll cost you dearly. Calm now, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest. But hardly had we arrived when he set upon Monsieur Peru. And who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Duke of L'Alcudia. He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Really, Duke Manuel? What made you kick up such a farce? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis, was guillotine. What? The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh dear. Oh, as if gracious. It's not the God. God. Hmm. Friends, friends, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous, bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes to 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness. He was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But that's enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Maras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured. The response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later.
Uh, could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from sympathy alone. Let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? Hear you speak, it sounds like you and my mother were close. Let's say I hold your mother in high esteem, yes. We were even planning to work together. That's what he was getting at. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? The cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do, do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, nothing of great importance in itself. During one of our discussions, she spoke of an old book which might have been of interest to me, and she had agreed to let me have it. A book about what? Uh, ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. Uh, you might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? I found one. Quite old? With locks on every chapter? Uh, oh no, I'm sorry sir. This one is the Mysterium Cosmographicum, a book she is particularly fond of. Oh, uh, no. That's not the one. Poor man's disgusted. I shouldn't play with his nerves. I'll look again. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's... Uh... It's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain von Borchert in Paris. Do you know him? Indeed. One of your close friends? Uh, no, not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us now, because he claimed to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Volner, and that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh. Uh. And so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Volner. You're the one who Von Birchert was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al-Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richet. You are playing a dangerous game. Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. It's Sir Gregory. Correct. You ought to know then, he is not a man who likes to be duped. You are walking on thin ice, sir. You better go and check out the painting in Lord Mortimer's study. Так, собрание вроде как здесь. All right, I've retrieved everything. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character.
Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? What do you think of Duke Godoy? Well, I'd rather not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Meaning? This gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. His undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years, and each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? Uh, wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. Так, услуги мы все позабирали. Блин, так бы хотелось там прогуляться. всегда тут тусуется Atrus, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Так, будем иметь в виду. Мало припасов у нас. The devil's thorn. To be used to uncover the best disguised traits. There's the alchemical symbol of the earth on the lid. Так, 
Так, эликсир. Там, в галерее и здесь. So, what did my mother mean by going beyond the nightmare? <coughs> hmm, might come in handy. Let's take a closer look. Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. And these chocolates are probably a protocol gift. Everybody in Europe loves them nowadays. Marie Antoinette, the Queen of France, has her own personal chocolate maker at Versailles. They say it's her guilty little morning ritual before getting dressed. A cup with one sugar and some vanilla, if I remember rightly. I would be surprised if Mortimer has them delivered straight from South America. Now, now what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model, a model of a lock. It's as if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. It's a book on the history of the Crusades. I don't think it has any connection with my research. A minor bird. Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Well, Waldo, is your master good? Sarah Dariche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah. What about Sarah? God, what's been happening here? Well, Waldo, is your master good? I don't really know what I was expecting. Короче, картина вот это ночной кошмар. Можно читать всякие заметки там. Ну, первый раз я разобрался еле-еле. The nightmare painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere.
Aha, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lock now? Great. That's all I needed. Именно вот этот код подходит. И чтобы выйти обратно, нужно представить себе вот сколько цифр на вот этих кругляшках. И чтобы с этой стороны был этот же код 1191. С той стороны это вроде 4, 6, 4, 4, как-то так. Open Sesame. See what you've been hiding, Lord Murderer. A fine looking map of the Orient, indeed. Weakness of the Human Psyche by Giham Trimor. Hmm. He says, It is possible to drill an idea into someone by constant daily repetition until the mind gives in. And goes on, There are hundreds of good ways to live life, but you only need one to convince the masses that it's the only one possible. <laughs> Am I seeing things, or is that an actual von Leeuwenhoek microscope? Incredible. Mortimer really is at the cutting edge of science. Even at the order, it took us ages to get one of those. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. A chest with a motif representing the alchemical symbol of fire. 